Well, Fort Smith is this iconic city with this rich, rich history of industry, of grand ideals, you know, gateway to the West, so to speak. And I think there was a season where maybe we kind of forgot uh, or needed reminding anyway of, of who we are in terms of the size of city that we are, the richness of our history, the uh, optimism. And I think it took a number of us, you know, during a particular period and season of time to begin the process of, of acknowledging our history and then also kind of laying claim to our right to be an economic driver in this part of the United States. I was looking for kind of a provocative event to help people remind themselves of the greatness that is Fort Smith. And through a number of conversations and a number of serendipitous events, one thing leads to another, and we meet Charlotte Dutois, this, this great international curator of, of public art festivals. We invited her here. This was uh, unlike anything that she would typically do, which is in large cities across the, across the world. And one of the motivations, strategic motivations, was is when we bring in uh, the international acclaimed artist, that when their work is mentioned, and, and they say their work in London and Lisbon and in Paris and Fort Smith, and, you know, so it's this outlier, but it instantaneously puts us in, in great company. As far as I'm concerned, you know, it is provocative in the sense of making us see our city again, our historic buildings again in a new light, uh, encouraging the next generation uh, to take the chances that they need to take in order to realize the city that they want to live in. And ultimately that is the gist of it, right? I mean, we want to build the city that we want to live in, and the arts have to play a very unique and prominent role in that. At least what I'm seeing is people not talking as much about what we ought to do and actually doing the things that they think we should do, so engagement I think is way up. We're seeing investment in our downtown area that's more than anecdotal. We're seeing outside investors coming in and taking a look at property. This downtown was literally the heart of this city for multiple generations, and it needs to be that again, and I think it's becoming that. So if, if, if it serves as nothing more than just a catalyst, a, pro, a provocation for a conversation about what we want for ourselves, then I would consider it mission accomplished. And I think the beauty of it is Fort Smith has a right to this conversation. We have a rich history of appreciation of the arts. Uh, up and down the avenue at one, at one time there were multiple opera houses, multiple venues where people traveled from the world to see what happened here, right? And so to me, I don't look at this as something we've started. I look at this as something that we've continued. And so that's what I would like for people to think as much as anything, is, is that this is who we are. An appreciation of the arts is something we have a right to. And as a result of that, we will be a better, more robust destination for citizens who desire to live here and businesses that desire to locate here.